Hello my lovelies, welcome back to Rouge Pat Beauty. I have a dupes video for you and I haven't filmed one of these for ages. Um, I don't know why, there's so many products I've used and thought, oh gosh, that's so like. And it just, I haven't been writing things down, a lot's been happening, but I've had a few items recently that have really distinctively been a dupe and have actually been better than the original. And their drugstore, which makes it even better, I think. I think it's just really good when you get that lower price dupe and it's just better than the expensive one. Makes me wish I hadn't bought the expensive one. So, we're going to crack on. Um, the first, these are actually equally as good, but... Clinique. Now I love this because it is for everything and a lot of people don't realise you can use eye makeup remover. It's better to use eye makeup remover to take your lipstick off. It doesn't dry your lips out, pulls the colour and you don't get it all smeared on your face. And this is Take The Day Off and they have it for lids, lashes and lips. Really good product, it's by face so you mix it and it just pulls colour away and I love it. But there is a dupe. Um, and I actually think it's a smidgen better than the Clinique. I think it's more precise and lifts the colour better. And it's the Garnier 2-in-1 Biphase. Removes all makeup, even waterproof. I just think it's a fantastic product. This is my third, fourth, maybe fifth bottle. I just think it's fabulous. Definite dupe. I get no irritation. It's great for taking eye makeup off. Great for removing lipstick. Even the matte lipstick that sets on your lips. Really, really good. Yes, but I do think this is a smidgen better than the Clinique. Right, varnish. Now, they're not the same colour, but you do get the long longevity of the product and that's why I think it's a dupe. Smith & Cult, which for me have been the longest lasting varnishes I've ever found, amazing. But they're not the cheapest out there. L'Oreal, now they're really good. It's a slightly different consistency, but they do last a long time. Both of them I always wear Sage Feet over the top, which does give it more of a sort of setting hard coat, a top coat, but they both do last pretty long. This is still slightly better. The consistency, just the colour payback I just like, but you get a pretty good match with the L'Oreal. So two options there. Um, I only have this to show you, but I have, I don't know if it's in a video somewhere, I will look. I have used the Ben Nye banana powder before. It's very infamous. It's been around a long, long time and I did buy it. And Makeup Revolution have done a 42 gram copy, basically. It is a dupe. It's their luxury powder, banana powder. Um, I don't have the Ben Nye because I didn't like it. I thought it was a waste of money. It wasn't very nice consistency. I found the colour revoltingly yellow, my face looked caked. I really, really didn't like it. When I saw this, I just couldn't resist really just seeing if it was any good. And I didn't have high hopes. And I love it when I'm proved wrong because I'm proved wrong. I'm wearing it today, just on the T-zone. And it's absolutely beautiful. It is very yellowy, but when you apply it, it sort of blends into your skin tone. It does come with the sieve at the top, and I tap it into my lid and use a large brush to apply it. But it's beautiful, it's finely milled, it doesn't sit anywhere on the face. I've used it under my eyes and it's not creased under the eye. I've been majorly impressed. A heck of a lot cheaper than Ben Nye and a heck of a lot better in my opinion. That's only my opinion, but for me I just think it's an outstanding product. Brushes. Now one of my favourite brushes is the NARS Kabuki brush. It's beautiful, but NARS charge a lot of money for their brushes, but you do get quality and it's been used and washed and used and washed a lot. And I really wanted to replace a few of my larger headed brushes that I don't like and they're really scratchy and they irritate me. And this is kind of the shape and size I like, but I didn't want to buy another one. And I'd been moseying around the internet as you do. And I was on Amazon and I just put a search in and up popped this. This is not NARS at all. It is a slightly different shape, but the head shape is 
pretty much the same, slightly bigger. It's the same material and I think it cost me two pounds. Now it has taken about four or five weeks to get here. I did think it's lost in the post as they do, they disappear, they don't get delivered, you get a refund, that kind of thing going on, but it arrived the other day um, and I haven't used it yet, but it feels so soft, beautifully soft. It is a synthetic hair, it's not an expensive hair. Um, but it's beautiful. I do need to use it. I do need to wash it and see what happens. I can tell it's a little bit rough around the edges, but for a couple of quid, it lasts as long as it lasts. But I was so impressed. I nearly bought a batch of them and I didn't. I just thought, no, be sensible. You may hate it. I'd rather get a few of these and, you know, they fall apart quicker, but really good dupe. And I will put all the links in the description box to where I got them as well. Right, lips. Um, I love Hourglass. I like Zephora. I know the Zephora lip colour is very popular, but I have a dupe for these and it is the Lola lip gloss. I'm going to pop it on. I do need a mirror. It's just a stunning colour. So you get the payback that you get from Zephora and Hourglass. It's not as matte as the Hourglass, but the payback's great. The consistency's great. And it's just so beautiful it feels lovely it smells lovely it lasts quite a long time because it's quite a substantial gloss i've absolutely loved it really really loved it and i don't find it drying on the lips which sephora can be it can sort of go to quite a funny even when you've had it when you've had a drink especially it has sort of a funny texture about it but for me, a really good dupe for both Sephora and Hourglass. I'm hooked and I really love the colour. It's such a Christmas colour as well. So that's Lola. You can get the Lola range in Marks and Spencers. And finally, um, I think this has probably been talked about a lot. I've been, I've had a lot of questions about it since I featured it on my Instagram and it's Makeup Revolution again. And they've brought out a couple of palettes, the powder. This is their Bronson Glow. It is the most gorgeous dinky little package. It's lovely. What a great present that would be. It smells amazing. You get a full mirror in the lid and there you go. You get a highlighter and you get a bronzer. And yes, as everybody is saying, it is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. Packaging not the same. I mean, the Charlotte Tilbury packaging is divine on this, but I do like the quirkiness of the chocolate bar palettes that they do. But it is a dupe. It's as simple as that. It is a definite dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, so I am in a position to tell you because I've used that one a lot and I've used this a lot. I'm wearing it today. Um, first of all, it's obviously a lot cheaper. That's one advantage. For me, Honestly and truthfully, using them both and working with them, I find the Makeup Revolution one far better than the Charlotte Tilbury, which frustrates the hell out of me because this was a lot of money. Um, I just feel these powders are so much smoother. The bronzer is more subtle. You get the warmth, but you don't get the harshness. The Charlotte Tilbury can be quite orange and it can go quite orange even with the lightest hand. Um, the highlighter for me is massively better than the Charlotte Tilbury. This is very stark, it's very shimmery. You can see where it is, it almost looks as if it's sort of stuck in place. It doesn't, it, you struggle to blend out the softness of it. It really is quite a harsh shimmer. Make a Revolution, it's very, very soft, it's very subtle, it gives you the sheen, but without the sort of big bits of glitter. And I just think it's outstanding. I think it, they really nailed this dupe massively. Okay, the packaging isn't as classy and as sort of art deco, but the quality of the product, that's what really matters. And for me, it is far, far above the Charlotte Tilbury. So if you've been thinking about it and you're not sure, buy it. Simple as that, just buy it because it really is superb. I love it. Absolutely love it. And that's my dupes video. Um, there is a lot of beeping in the background. I don't know if you're aware of it. 
I do apologise, there's a lot of work going on at the moment. It's been happening for about two weeks. I've become immune to the beeping, but I will be aware that some of you are probably picking up on it. I am sorry, there's nothing I can do. The windows are closed and I can't really edit it out or film around it because I don't know when it's happening. It's just continuously all through the day. So my apologies if you're aware of it and it's annoying you. Nature of the beast, I'm afraid. People are getting a lot of things done before Christmas. Right, thank you for watching me. I look forward to your comments and I will put the links to all the dupes and things in the description box. Take care. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye for now.